Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Talk Training Web Series. Today, I'll be explaining about a SharePoint Online tutorial on how to work on tables by just simply copying from Word, right? Now, it's not easy as in Word and there are not as many features. It's quite possible and not very difficult to add a table to a SharePoint page. So I'm just gonna show you how to insert and modify a table in a SharePoint page, right? So now this is a page where I've clicked on edit, right? Now what I can do is I can just go ahead and put some text, right? Just do some formattings. So if you notice, you know, something similar to Word and in case of formatting your text or whatever it is, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the insert tab and then you have an option to add tables, right? There you go. So I'm just, I'm just trying to show the difference, right? Now, what do you see here in, um, in Microsoft Word? If you're gonna work on Microsoft Word, you have an option to move our, you know, you can, uh, you can adjust the column width or the row height, right? But here in SharePoint, you won't be able to do that. You need to really plug in the values, something like that, right? says 14 percent I'm gonna make it 15 16 yeah so this is how it works right in SharePoint there you go I'm just changing the row height again right perfect so that's how it works in SharePoint if you're gonna insert a table these this is how it's gonna work uh, if you're used to Microsoft Word and preparing tables then I think that's the best thing you can just go ahead and copy and paste the values over here so I'm just gonna show you how it works, right? For example, right, this is what I'm talking about. You can just keep dragging it. That's not possible on SharePoint. Also, if you see, you have tab stops, right? So I can keep moving the cursor based on the tab when I press on the tab button, right? That's possible in Microsoft Word, but it doesn't work here, basically, because HTML does not understand tabs and just works on simple space. So that's one thing that you need to understand or know about. Um, here, let's say I'm, I need to put a table design. I can merge. So I have most of the features here, but you know, it's not, I would prefer Word more because I'm, I'm kind of used to Word. I've been doing it since school days. I mean, been using it for more than 15 years. So I'm kind of used to Microsoft Word, right? For the sake of the demonstration, I'm just trying to make you understand, okay, what do you have in SharePoint in terms of formatting tables? Um, now I've selected show grid lines. Now the table, what I've done is, um, if I click on default table style, right? I click on clear, right? This is light. Now when I select clear, you don't see the grid lines. It's transparent, right? You just have the values put up over here. Now when I click on grid lines, this is gonna help me work on the content. And then, you know, once I save this page, this grid, this grid lines is gonna just disappear from here. Right, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna change different styles. As you see here, I can keep changing the styles here. Great. And just keep changing these as well, right? Perfect. Now, let's let's see how it works with Word, right? Okay, I have one, I have some data over here. It's, it's yeah, it's basically a done in Word, right? Now, I'm, I'm kind of lazy to have these values again, you know, go back to SharePoint and then type it back up. It's, it's gonna take a lot of time, right? So what I do is, I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna hit on copy, go to my intranet, and then just gonna click on the paste button. And it's gonna throw up a pop-up message saying that do you want to allow this web page to access your clipboard? So I just click on allow access. Here you go. So now I have my values added over here. 
And then what I can do is I can go ahead and, you know, set up a layout or design, right? Here you go. So I can keep changing that. Okay, this looks better. So it's more of the same as what I had in my Word, right? So I just can, I can go ahead and format it and then click on save. And that's it, I have my table pasted on my SharePoint page. Easy, isn't it? I think you should, you should try it, it's simple to do. Um, so that's it for my today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, MyDoc365, and we'll be coming out more and more SharePoint-related tips and tricks. Stay tuned and have a great day.